so this is a TFSI engine 2.0 turbo and I did a compression test and in cylinder number 4 I have zero pressure in this case the air can go through, through the intake side if you have a broken intake valve or it can go out through the exhaust side if you have a bad exhaust valve we have two valves on the exhaust and two valves on the intake right now I'm gonna close the injector port I'm gonna build up pressure in the cylinder but first I'm gonna set up the piston in the top dead center so this way all four valves are going to be closed I'm gonna build up pressure into the cylinder so we will see where the air goes I don't know why but I feel like the problem is in the valve so I think it's or the intake valve or the exhaust valve usually the exhaust valves get overheated and with time they break so let's do a test and let's see what's going on I don't have a tool to do a leak down test pressure leak down test so I'm gonna use just a regular air gun I'm gonna put something around to hold the pressure and I'm gonna show you what happens if you have a broken valve and the air is going through the exhaust side if you have for example a bad exhaust valve it's gonna allow the air to go to the exhaust so right now I'm gonna show you how it looks I have two gloves regular gloves and I'm gonna put them on the like a plug on the both exhausts and I'm gonna put the camera here and after I'm gonna blow air through the cylinder so you will see how it works So when you will blow air don't forget to close the port where the fuel injector goes because if you will not plug it then the air is gonna go out through this hole so just you can hold your finger right now I'm gonna set this cylinder in the top dead center so it means that the all four valves are gonna be closed two valves from the intake are going to be closed and two valves from the exhaust are going to be closed I'm gonna install the camera one more time on the exhaust and we'll blow air again in case we, if we have a broken exhaust valve the air is still gonna go to the to our exhaust if the valves are good then we will not have air going to the exhaust let's try it let's set first the cylinder to the top dead center like as you can see here is a, our key and socket i'm gonna turn clockwise the crankshaft and i'm gonna set the cylinder in the top dead center let's do it Right now our cylinder is in top dead center and we're going to blow air again and check one more time the exhaust. while I was blowing air and building pressure in the cylinder number 4 when the piston was in the top dead center the air still was going to the exhaust probably we have a broken exhaust valve now I'm gonna try to do the same procedure on a good cylinder and we'll set again the piston the piston in the top dead center 
all the valves are going to be closed and I'm gonna install the camera one more time on the exhaust so we'll see if it's gonna work or not now we're gonna spin the crankshaft we're gonna set the cylinder number three at the top dead center and I'm gonna build up pressure again we'll check one more time if the air is going to the exhaust or not Of course, it's not perfectly at the top dead center, but the valves should be closed. I just inspected cylinder number two, and when the valves are closed, we don't have any air coming to the intake side or to the exhaust side now we're gonna open the exhaust valves and I'm gonna show you one more time what's going what's going on when you building pressure and the exhaust valves are open Right now the exhaust valves are open, I'm gonna build pressure again and I'm gonna install camera on the exhaust so you'll see what's going on. Now I'm going to set up the cylinder number two, the piston number two to the top dead center. We're gonna do the same procedure again. So we'll see that the, when I'm gonna build pressure and the piston is gonna be in the top dead center, we will not have any air going to the exhaust side or to the intake side. Let's do it again. You can see the piston, it's in top dead center, so now we're going to build pressure and see what's going on. And now cylinder number one, we're gonna do the same procedure, we're gonna set up the piston in the top dead center and we're gonna build up pressure again. After, we'll go one more time to cylinder number four. We're gonna set the piston in the top dead center, make sure all valves are closed, and build pressure one more time. You'll see when the cylinder number four, it's in the, when the piston in, it's in the top dead center, the air is going, is going through the exhaust side, all the way back to the exhaust of the car. So let's do it first with the cylinder number one. Tested all four pistons and as you can see none of them except the, the piston number four it's it's inflating the gloves so now we're gonna do this procedure one more time on piston number four we're gonna build up pressure again when the piston is gonna be in the top dead center and you will see how the air is going through the exhaust side let's do it actually first let's set up the cylinder the piston in the top dead center one more time mm -hmm. right now the cylinder the piston is in the top dead center 
in the cylinder number four so now we're gonna build up pressure and you will see when I'm building up pressure how the air is going through the exhaust and it's inflating the glove and also don't forget to close the injector port